yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, that's why I had to go away. Yeah. I had too much coffee. Of you know, Solid Snake of, and watching an hour of cutscenes before you can actually press a button to play a game, your phone will have died. And <laughs> that's not safe. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Sign okay. me up. Okay. Um, okay, so a couple quick uh, Batman-related uh, news bits before we jump to uh, the massive Mortal Kombat spoilers that came out this week. Um, an unofficial remake of the very first Batman video game has really? been released. We'll, we'll tweet the link to it. But uh, published in 1986, a fine year indeed, um, the once formidable British games giant Ocean Software, I think we all remember that, Ocean, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, kind yeah, of an ancestor yeah, of, uh, of modern day Atari, sort of, um, uh, you know, put this out. Uh, so the game stars an Adam West looking Batman on a scavenger hunt around the deadly bat cave uh, <laughs> yes. for seven pieces of the quote bat craft. Awesome God stuff. Damn, it's like Batman's the, it's like the horror. I know, uh, right? So anyway, it's been remade. It's available for download and play for free on a PC. So I'm out of luck with my douchebag Mac. But everybody else, eighty <laughs> percent of the world can enjoy this, and, and we'll tweet the link after the show. Um, oh, then, and also we'll tweet this too. Probably in the same tweet. Two tweets for the price of one. Um, Arkham City trailer has uh, come out. It's been out for a couple days, but if you if you've missed out on it, do check it out. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so Mortal Kombat spoilers. Um, interesting. So in in the vein of Yoda and Darth Vader showing up in Soul Calibur, um, Mortal Kombat has picked up a random guest star. So it has leaked. Um, I don't think this was planned right now. That uh, the God of War protagonist, Kratos, uh, will be in Mortal Kombat. He'll be in the PS3 version of Mortal Kombat, obviously. Mm. Um, so, interesting. Hasn't um, he already so, been in something else recently? Uh, he's been in, um, let's see here. Yeah, he's God been in Soul Bobby. Calibur, actually. Let's see. He's been in Soul Calibur Broken Destiny. Uh, but uh, he seems to be a good fit for Mortal Kombat, and we'll see what this opens up. Do I have Broken Destiny? Is... I think I do. It came yeah, out with another well, Soul Calibur this... game? That's the one on the PSP. Oh, yeah, the PSP. okay. Yeah, I've so, got so, it yes, somewhere. Quote, unquote, you know... No, it is. It's a good game. Right. Quote, unquote, PSP. Yeah, quote, unquote, PSP. <laughs> PSP players. So... So yeah, you know, I mean, this 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 is going to be probably cool if you're you know Mortal Kombat fan. It also opens up the question of if he's a PSP three, if he's a PS three exclusive character, what's the Xbox exclusive? Master character? Chief. Yeah. So oh yeah, brutal. The awesome fatalities. You know, Master uh, Chief would anyway. kick Kratos's. I, I probably don't know. Never mind. I'll shut up. Awesome you guys. Fanboy no. wars can't resist. You know where Kratos really should be used. And God of War 4. Well, no, 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 no. Don't be silly, Brian. They're too busy making hardware. Um, (laughs) Gran Turismo 5. Yes, he should be a driver in GT5. Well, first thing, we got to get this PlayStation 6 finished before we make any games for this PSP or PS3. But um, I guess somebody's got to take off their shirt and beat all those players. Um, (laughs) they, They need to put them in Eternal Champions. Ooh, Ooh. Sega should redo Eternal Champions. I've been yeah. saying that for a long time. Oh boy. Yeah, okay, I got, I got it now. Um, Kratos should be a character in the next Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympics. Dude, dude, oh. dude. Oh. I like the way you're oh. thinking. Oh, God. I would rather have oh, Kratos God. than Crash Bandit shit any day. I'll, I'll be right back, guys. I need a towel. Mario and Sonic at the Olympics and Kratos. Oh, my God. <laughs> <sighs> Oh yeah. Also, speaking of speaking of Eternal Champions, here it is on the Sega spoilers. CD. Nice. Mm, the this, best this may one. Be too, this may be too many spoilers for you to handle. Mm-hmm. So if you don't want to be like completely spoiled on, on a good deal of the new Mortal Kombat roster, um, <laughs> skip forward about uh, I would say three minutes. So a website error uh, has been fixed on the on one of the uh, Mortal Kombat related websites, the official website. Um, but before it was fixed. Some information was mined from the website, and a list of characters was made public. So, here we go. Uh, if you're a Mortal Kombat fan, you should be happy, but I'm afraid not surprised. So, here, here are the lists of names that were leaked from the site. Jax. Ermac, Erm, uh, Jax has been uh, made public. Awesome. Gotta tell you. Yeah, so he's there. definitely there. So, Ermac, Goro, Cabal. Goro, awesome. Noob Saibot, Quan Chi, uh, Shang Tsung, Sindel, 
uh, Smoke and Striker. Yeah, Striker. More on Peter Grady. So is this a is this sort of a is this a remake or is this a continuation of the of the supposed this is a, like Mortal this Kombat is a story? remake. This is like a love letter to uh, Mortal Kombat two and three. Why so would anyone? Saying, why would anybody? Sorry. Nobody cares about Mortal Kombat yeah. three. It sucks. What are you talking? Um, that's true for the most part, but Ultimate Mortal Kombat three, for whatever reason, is played in tournaments. So it, the, it gets the, you know the play. character the characters are memorable. I mean, you know, Noob Saibot and all of those characters are fun to play, but I mean the game the game mechanics suck. No, yeah, Mortal Kombat three is the awful. run button just. And the the tap combos, I don't I don't get it. Yeah, it's weird. And, you know, again, like real quickly, like on the tournament scene, for whatever reason, like like little, Mortal Kombat Ultimate Mortal Kombat Three literally has like seventy five percent damage combos, and for whatever reason, they're okay with that, which is kind of weird. You would think like a real serious hardcore fighter would like say, okay, the game's broken because there are combos that will just like outright kill you, but no, they for some reason they embrace it. The people people uh, should be playing MK Trilogy. <laughs> That's the that's the tournament game. Yes, yeah, yes, I love that one. That's the best one. Um, okay, so if you're a fan of Neo Geo, um, I've got news for you. And if you're a fan of being nickel and dimed, I've got super news for you. <laughs> oh, so, oh, oh. so this week, <laughs> the I Neo love Geo. getting nickel and dimed. Yes, yeah. <laughs> guys, guys. It's announced. PlayStation Pliers <laughs> Part Two. There you go. <laughs> um, you know. Yeah. So, so that was released. So, so news of the PlayStation, the Neo Geo, sorry, the Neo Geo Station, was um, announced for Japan, and shortly after, it was announced for the U.S. and what? the United Kingdom. What is this? So what is the Neo Geo Station? Is this a new system? Uh, sorta. I guess I don't know. So, this is a service um, that will launch with uh, ten titles, um, each priced at nine bucks. Jesus uh, Christ! That's the cheapest PSP Neo Geo version. game ever. <laughs> the PSP. That's true. That's true. The PSP <laughs> versions will cost seven dollars. So a pittance. A pittance. Um, Fatal Fury and Metal Slug will be available this month. And the rest of the titles are, are to be announced. So we're looking at Fatal Fury, Metal Slug, King of Fighters '94, Samurai Showdown, Super Sidekicks, Art of Fighting, Alpha Mission Two, League Bowling. Baseball stars, I, professional magic. I board. already have these games. Why would I pay? Yeah, I'll be honest. These are like the the I don't know the ten games that basically everybody knows Neo Geo did, and they don't know any other game. But why why aren't they releasing like Art of Fighting three and Samurai Showdown two? It's a good. Did question. they forget they released a disc with all these on there like last year? Uh, yes, they did, and that disc yeah. was like what twenty bucks, or you can probably it get still it. is twenty bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, for awesome. PlayStation also, 3, I believe, also. You know, Brian, you ask if they could put out Art of Fighting 3, but it would cost 9 bucks. So, yeah, so I, the I people who are out there paid $400 or however much the cart costs, you know, would get ticked off. Well, yeah. yeah. How much that, do you have that cart, John? Art of Fighting 3? Um, which one? Art, Art of Fighting 3? 3, yeah. No, no, no. I had Art of Fighting 2. Um, I got to check eBay again. Like, uh, like, obviously, the later stuff is the collector's stuff. Is the stuff that people are really after, but the early stuff, like um, every one of these games they listed, they produced in like mass. So <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not hard at all to like get like if you want Magician Lord. Like, God, like, it, like, that was the pack in game, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and you so, know, they also, uh, how, how much? How much? Uh, just one one quick question. Uh, how many? What was the last cartridge they released of Samurai Showdown? Was it four? Um, I think that's right. Yeah. Five, five was an arcade game, and six yeah, was the game that came only. out only on so, anthology. I mean, you could get that. I mean, you could get the arcade thing if you wanted, but uh, nobody really collects those. So um, they're cheap. But, but, this yeah. sounds like a whole big sad trombone moment. Yeah, it's a sad trombone. It, it's kind of like a a shout out that you know the Neo Geo existed. Please God, buy these games. It's like a, it's ba- you know what this is. You know what that sounds like when it's like it's it's something to remember the Neo Geo by. It's it's tombstone. That's what this mm-hmm. is. It's a marker to point out that the Neo Geo existed, and a possibility that you might they might actually get something out of this. I can't. Yes. I can't believe Neo Geo is still around. Dude, Neo Geo is awesome. I, uh, I, I'm just jealous that I don't have one. I'm jealous of John. I mean, got it had one. its niche. It had its niche. It had some awesome games. Uh, King of Monsters, stuff yeah. like that. Yes. You know? uh, it, uh, King of Fighters. Pretty good. Neo it Geo had. doesn't exist. Uh, currently, in its previous capacity, right? It's no the it, the brand out. is effectively it's it's dead. American Sammy that bought 
the Neo Geo brand. Or... Uh, yeah, and I think it's uh, it's still like, isn't it SNK Playmore now? Yeah, SNK Something Playmore. Like... That's it. Yeah, Playmore. Sorry, yeah. That's, that's what they're called. That's what they're called. <laughs> anyway, and they do they do um, King of Fighters these days, which looks okay. Uh, you know, I mean, they brag that every every frame of it is hand drawn. Um, and, and it looks nice, but when you stack it up against, like, say, a Street Fighter Four, which is 3D rendered, it's, it kind of looks archaic. I mean, you could only go so far with hand drawn. Or stuff. what was the game that was the 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 fighting game was released on the PS2 that was hand drawn? It was released originally on the Dreamcast. I can't. <sighs> um, it looks way better. I can't even think. No, oh, not. I know what you're talking about. Um, I'll think of it later. It's pretty. It's not. It's, it's not. Uh, it's not the Guilty Gear Blast Blue, is it? Uh, yeah, it, it's Guilty. It, it is Guilty Gear. Guilty, Guilty Gear, Gear okay, is uh, okay. hand drawn. Yeah, they're and, still pretty popular. And gorgeous. Popular. Yes, what was yes, that yes. Uh, monster game where it was one two and similar from um, Snow Bros, but it was like with monsters in a graveyard and you had to run around and kill them until they turned to a gray stone and touch them to knock them Karate down. Karate Kid. Your score. No, no, no. I'm talking about a good game. Oh. Um, <laughs> Uh, I wish I remember. Uh, it was like no a, idea. It sounds yeah, kind of that funny. sounds like something you dreamed. You dreamed, Rob. <laughs> no, no, it's for reals, yo. It sounds like uh, a night with Cuervo. <laughs> 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 oh, it sounds fine. like that sounds like something that might have happened in the bathroom before recording tonight. <sighs> or during? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was uh, <laughs> that was hot dogs and macaroni and cheese night. Oh, <laughs> mac dogs. <laughs> Mac Dogs, nice, nice. That's a that's a that's a reference to RFC. Um, Mac Dogs twenty twenty. Yeah. So okay, real quick, a couple quick things before we get to our topic, which is connect um, and how it connects to Brian Kilby, our own Brian Kilby. Uh, so Tomb Raider's getting a reboot. Tis the season to reboot everything. Um, I'm still waiting for my Daytona USA reboot. By the way. Yes. Yeah. So so, so you Tomb can Raider go reboot. around in more circles. Dude, Daytona Absolutely. USA yeah, is the best the game whole, ever. Right? Yeah, yeah, and I, I demand being able to play as a racehorse. That's all I'm asking. Ooh. That was only on the Saturn version. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just still saying I still want to be a, um, a racehorse on a NASCAR speedway. Uh, I've okay, got the Saturn so version. Tuesday of this week finally brought some official confirmation <laughs> of uh, the Tomb Raider reboot, and uh, now we've actually got a little bit of information about it. So I guess at this point, Tomb Raider can be considered like a bit of a retro title or nostalgia. Amazingly, yes. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty old, sadly, yes, to your point. Uh, It's about 13 years old at this point. God, man. 14, maybe. I have never played Tomb Raider. Me either. Still haven't found that naked code. Still looking every day. Typing in stuff. Um, So (laughs) here's some details on uh, on the reboot. As you can guess, yes, it's got killer graphics, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. But some of the more interesting stuff. Um, it takes place on an island with a oh this is this is this is new sound wave so I can say it this uh, uh this sounds kind of porny so it takes place on an porny. island <laughs> that's it that's, that's on awesome an island with a young and inexperienced Laura Craft is it Lara Craft Lara Croft Lara Lara, 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 Lara Croft whatever Just, uh, okay uh, whatever she's young and experienced sounds like and inexperienced. dead or alive game that's the point that's the point young and inexperienced it does sound like a dead or alive game. She's 21 and she's shipwrecked on an island. So there you oh go. Oh my god! And someone that, teaches so her the ways of love. Of, with an archaeologist and her boyfriend she's gets kidnapped, and then she has to go on an erotic adventure, her erotic journey across an island. 